As the House comes to order, here is Steve Kornacki. We've been here before. What will you be watching for this time around? Yeah, Andrea, Garrett just set the stage there. And what you're looking at here, and what as this vote progresses when it's finally taken, what you'll be able to see here is we've kind of put a big list together here. These are all Republicans. These are Republicans who have either indicated opposition to Jim Jordan, an intent to vote against him on this first ballot, or who simply haven't said anything. And so some of them we certainly expect will end up being with Jordan. They just haven't made public pronouncements. But the list we've got here is nearly 60 members long. So it's going to be very interesting to see how many of these nearly 60 uh, Republican names you see here actually do publicly vote against Jim Jordan on this first ballot. In terms of the math, the way this works here is to become the Speaker of the House, you need a majority of all members who are present in the chamber and critically who cast a ballot for somebody by name. Remember, they're called upon. They could vote for anybody they want. They could also vote present. If they vote present, it affects the math. But coming into today, there are 221 seats held by Republicans, 212 seats that are held by Democrats. There's news that one Florida Republican, Gus Bill Arrakis, who's a supporter of Jim Jordan, will be absent at least for the afternoon. If that is the case, there'd be 220 Republicans, perhaps, in the chamber. The Democrats have indicated all their members are present. So if there were 220 Republicans, Republicans, 212 Democrats voting on this first ballot. That would be a total of 432 votes cast. If they're all cast for a member by name, then you'd need an outright majority, which would be 217. So again, if there are 220 Republicans present from this giant list right here, when you get to three defections for Jordan, he's reached his limit. A fourth defection, he can't win this thing on the first ballot. And so, and again, as Garrett is saying, based on just all the public pronouncements we're hearing here, the real question on this first ballot seems to be not if Jordan will get it, but how far from it he will be. And maybe as a point of reference, you could think back to January when Kevin McCarthy had to go all those rounds to become the speaker. On the initial couple rounds of voting in January, there were 19 Republicans who voted for somebody besides Kevin McCarthy. 19 was the number there. Be interesting to see here, I think very important to see how the Jordan number compares to that potentially. Again, a number of these members here, you mentioned Don Bacon from Nebraska, who will be called early in this roll call, have indicated opposition to Jordan. How many more end up joining there? And where does that number end up landing uh, when you get through the roll call there? See how that compares to Kevin McCarthy. But we will be tracking in real time all of these Republicans in particular uh, as the vote comes in. You'll see right here on this screen who they have voted for. And, I, and it's keep in mind, if you see four of these Republicans vote for somebody besides Jim Jordan, then Jim Jordan can't, assuming all the Democrats vote for Hakeem Jeffries, then Jim Jordan cannot win on this first ballot.